City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. I was born in the city. I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's complex. I found love in its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is city. I met all my best friends, and I wanna thank every break. I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in. In this city of mine, I owe you most my best moments in life. See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park. I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall. I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to go off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want. Keith drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt. And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost. Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get. Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this. I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure so I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that really I don't mind that I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at A spot where I don't spend no money just some time at I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little I brought some weed and baby maybe we could burn a little She said you're funny, I said no I'm David and I left Sun shining, birds chirping, let me take a breath I'm headed to the city where my chance to make it best what people like to give a little then you take the rest. all right y'all still with the beat 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 with the beat beat okay okay just like literally y'all bear with me i this is driving me crazy too okay it's driving me crazy too <laughs> so just bear with me okay y'all i'm we figuring it out okay we're figuring it out that's my disclaimer. All right, y'all. So the unit I am rocking was caught by me with my own coins. Shout out to me for buying a unit with my own coins. Like, go for C A, go for C A, go for C A. Shout out to me for copping a unit with my own coins. So the unit I am rocking is by Altre. It's been a minute since I did a synthetic, y'all. I haven't been on my game, and if you know, you know why. Okay. <laughs> I haven't been on my game, but I'm gonna get back. Okay. I'm gonna be back like I never lived. Okay. So the unit I'm rocking is by Altre. It is their 13 by four lace frontal wig. It is a pre-braided bead in stitch braid unit. It is HD transparent lace. Um, the name of the unit is Stitch Braid Ripple Wave 30. So it's 30 inches, child. Okay, 30. You, you heard me right, it's, it's 30. Okay, <laughs> and I have it in the color 1B. And then on the inside of this stock card, it says, skip the salon. Altre's pre-braided 13 by four frontal lace wigs make wearing braids better than ever before. Get the professional braided look you love without an all day visit to the salon or the price tag child. <laughs> Cause let's talk about the braided <laughs> price tags. All right, pop the wig on and off when you choose. It looks natural, it's natural looking braids whenever you want them. So it says 13 by four frontal HD lace, lightweight and natural density, soft flexible braids, baby hair included, pre-attached elastic band for a flat fit. And then on the back, it, it tells you the special colors. It comes in DR Chai Latte, DR, uh, and DR stands for dark root, in case you don't know, uh, ginger brown, DR red velvet, and DR chocolate swirl. So those are the special colors. This is what it looks like on the stock card, and honey, those baby hairs on our girl is baby hairing, okay? I don't know what my baby hairs are doing, but hers are baby hairing, okay? So that's what it looks like on the stock card. This is what it looks like on the inside, and it's showing you a different color. Um, it's showing you that 
DR Chai Latte right here. And the other two colors are 1B. So I guess they love the 1B because usually they show you three colors, but you guys, they ain't have time for that. And this is it on the back. Okay, so with this particular unit, as far as shed entangling, like let's just get into it, okay? Um, it tangles some, um, not excessively straight out of the packaging. I haven't noticed any shedding. That's not to say old girl won't do any of the things at some point. Just straight out of the packaging, old girl is not doing any of the things. As far as it being big head friendly, I feel like this unit is big head friendly, but I, oh, I am an average cap size, so you can do with that what you want to do with that, honey. If somebody else that has a larger or smaller head can comment down below, I would surely appreciate it if you have this particular unit. In my opinion, it is big head friendly, but like I said, I only have the head that's on my shoulders. I did have to adjust the straps. I did have to adjust the elastic band for it to fit the way I wanted it to fit, so do with that what you want to do with that. Uh, as far as the baby hairs, um, they are excessive. <laughs> they are excessive, honey, okay? And sometimes I'll utilize baby hair, sometimes I won't, but with every uh, braided wig I have ever gotten, I always utilize the baby hairs, okay? Because you're gonna have that line of demarcation, like, I always have that line of demarcation, okay? So you can see it good on here. You may not be able to see it as well on my thumbnail picture because, honey, your girl got a filter, okay? Don't judge me. You got a filter too, girl. You love filter too. We love filter, <laughs> okay? But um, you can see that there is that line of demarcation just like right across there. So um, I feel like the baby hairs make it not as intense, but you know. Yeah, no, okay. So yeah, those are uh, basically the details and specs with this unit. If you're interested in my pros and cons, it was a full 360 and a lint check, then please continue to watch. All right, y'all, so let's start with the cons, because you know I like to end on a high note. My con with this wig would be that line of demarcation, and, you know, I have yet to come across a braided wig. I may have had one, and I think that was by uh, uh, Braids Queen that didn't have that line, but it was still there. It just wasn't as prominent as the other ones, and it's just, like, one of the things that you're going to get with a lot of braided wigs, like, you know, it's just something you're going to get. Okay, um... So yeah, that would be my con. Um, and also, I have this hump here, but if you look at the model, there's a hump on her head as well. So I guess that would be a con too. I have a hump. Anyway, my head is made like this. Like y'all, I didn't know my head was made like this until I shaved it. But that's how my head is made. <laughs> so I have a hump anyway. I don't need no extra humps. Okay, so yeah, those would be my cons. My pros would be I love the overall style of this wig. I think the style is really nice. I like the braids. Um, actually, I used to kind of wear my hair like this. I would get my aunt's mama to braid my hair, and I would have it down in the back. So it's kind of nostalgic for me. So I really just love the overall style. I love the, the texture of the hair in the back. And But I do, um, I want to throw this in as well. It, it cannot look as full in certain spots. You know, if it's not all the hair brought to the front, it can have, kind of have that gap feel so I want to throw that out there as well but I do also like that the hair is um not heavy so uh, I don't know you you all tell me what y'all think like it's not heavy hair but maybe the fact that it's not heavy is why I have those gaps I don't know y'all let me know I'm nobody's pro honey I'm nobody's beautician so I just be throwing stuff out there so y'all let me know down below in the comments Would I recommend this wig? Let me see how much old girl, how much it rent me. Woo child. Okay, so on Amazon, this wig is $71, honey, okay? <laughs> Depend, okay, well, it's $66. I got one B. So it's $66. Depending on the color you get, it, it just depends, child. Um, in my opinion, I think it just depends on you. I'm not hurt by the price of this wig. Um, it just depends on what you consider worth it. So, I do think that it's super steep. I think you can get a human hair wig for close to that, especially if you're getting into the color range. I have seen human hair wigs on Amazon for the same price. Okay, so it just depends on you. Now, uh, if you're looking for a convenience, something cute to wear for an event, then yes, I would. You know, something cute, throw it on, blah, blah. If not, then maybe 
not. So it just depends on you. Y'all let me know if y'all would recommend this wig. Um, like I said, it just depends on you and what you deem worthy. <laughs> so y'all let me know down below in the comments. I am interested, child. Your girl, your girl is interested. All right, y'all. I'm gonna give you guys four, three, six, so we can wrap this thing all the way up. So this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. This is where it comes to me. Keep in mind, I am 5'4". And this is it on the right side. So yeah, y'all sound off down below in the comments. I am interested in your thoughts and opinions. Let me know all the things down below. Let me know if uh, you are feeling this wig. Um, if you want it, I will have a direct link to it down below in the description box for your comments. And yeah, girl, <laughs> that's all. That's all. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel like I may have those out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, girl, click the subscribe button. It's not a question, I'm one red stick. And if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and TikTok. I'm Hustle Missy on Snapchat and I'm Disastrous Beauty on Twitter. And I will see you love bugs next time. Bye.